I understand that not many of you guys that follow me here on this platform follow my Instagram channel or my Instagram page, but many of you do, and there are a lot of people that have questions. I'm getting DMs and texts and everything uh, from fans and followers and just people that enjoy my content over on Instagram, and even big name people that I really didn't expect to even give a damn about what's going on my Instagram page. Um, I just wanted to clear things up and show you guys what the hell went down on Instagram, what Instagram did not want you to see, what they kept deleting off of my page. Basically, long story short, Tuesday night, IG had their finger on the trigger. Anytime that I posted anything, they were almost immediately deleting it. It all started with a hater dance video that I posted at about 8.30 p.m. By 10 o'clock, the video was pulled. It had over well over 100,000 views. It had like a 1,000 comments. People were loving it. It's a segment that I do where I feature my hate comments from YouTube and Facebook. Why do I only pick YouTube and Facebook and I get so much hate on Instagram? Why don't I pick Instagram? Because Instagram doesn't pay me. So if you're going to be a douche and you're gonna leave a comment uh, hating on me, you better leave it on my monetized platforms. This way I can collect some damn ad revenue for you being an asshole. And I've been doing this for so long now that I could tell the people that just wanna get featured from the people that really hate my guts. You could always tell the comments from someone that just wants their name read uh, or their name to show on the video from people that truly, actually, genuinely hate my effing guts, right? Here's the video that started all. It was a hater dance video. I don't know why they pulled it. Uh, maybe because I was dancing with a blow up doll in my kitchen, which I found to be extremely hilarious. What's even more hilarious are the comments associated with the video. The video is a little distorted. That is by design. I did that purposely just so it could pass through and you guys can witness it. Check the video out. Dancing with a blow-up doll in my kitchen, taking hard AF by Steel Supplements is genius. Let's just admit it. So after, like I said, an hour and a half or so the video got pulled, I then was drinking heavily that Tuesday night because we were supposed to do a live stream. We were supposed to do a podcast. All of our equipment somehow ended up getting all jacked up and we weren't able to go live and we weren't able to do a podcast. I've been drinking a lot and heavily and this this is one of the videos that instagram pulled probably within 10 minutes of it being up here you go all right for those of you who don't know earlier this evening one of my <laughs> posts got deleted on instagram from the little beta bitch boys over at instagram that are like oh my god that's so offensive i can't i can't allow that on my platform you know how much shit is on instagram one of you guys help me out here vin what's Instagram. Tell, tell the people fuck shit on Instagram. Uh, Go ahead. People commit crimes. Crimes, yeah. yep. They fight. They fight, yep. What else? All sorts of illegal shit. Yeah, illegal shit, and Absolutely. Instagram doesn't delete it. But some little beta bitch boy over to Instagram agreed with whoever reported my video. you, by the way. Oh, and who deleted my video? you, by the way, over at Instagram. You know what? I want to fight you. So after they deleted that video, the drinking continued. And I am not ashamed or embarrassed by that in, by any means because I think these videos are hilarious. Here's another video that I made a couple minutes after the second video got pulled. Check it out. The more you delete, the more I will post. All you brads and chads out there in Instagram land. I don't want to fight you anymore. 
I want to beat you at your own game. How about some table tennis or some racquetball? Some other pussy game that you play? Put on a pink polo and some cocky shorts. And whoop your ass. Serious question. I just need to know. Do any mo at Instagram even f lift, bro? Asking for a friend. And I just realized that so many of you are in the dark right now. And it's like, yo, Robert Frank only posts once a week. Why is he blowing up my feed? Well, you see, Instagram here deleted a couple of my posts because they were inappropriate. But check this out, bros. One million people can report my shit for being inappropriate, but it only takes one little beta bitch boy over at Instagram to say, this is so offensive. It doesn't belong on my platform because I'm a little beta bitch boy. That sucks for a living. You little Brad and Chad. Now check this out. My wife just had surgery. She's been sleeping on the couch for the last week. She hasn't had hard in eight days. And I'm about to give it to her. So excuse me. I know that the person that's deleting my videos over at IG is a little 110 pound beta bitch boy that doesn't even lift and doesn't find my content funny. That's what happened, that's what went down. Like I said, I have a very good relationship with Facebook who owns Instagram and it's funny because the two like sides probably don't even talk to each other. I did make a just in case I ever get the feel the urge to start posting and again this this may last a couple of days and I may be back posting on Instagram next week who knows I may be over this whole boycotting thing but I did start a second channel just in case something got happened to the first it is Robert underscore Frank 615 You guys can follow me there. I'm gonna start posting more shit on there as well. I'd appreciate a follow just in case, like I said, something bad happens to my big page. But in the meantime, I am going to take this time to concentrate on building up my YouTube, my Facebook, and my Twitter to catch up to the numbers that Instagram has right now because that's gonna be fun. And I'll leave you with this. I always said that I would not water down my content no matter how big this whole thing got, I would never, ever, ever, um, you know, go PG or G or anything like that just for views or to have my videos shown on the platforms. And I know I have to play by their rules. I'm very well aware of that. But it, as a creator, when you can't be creative anymore and you have to tiptoe around uh, the and, and, and go by these platforms' uh, rules and regulations, it's not fun anymore. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, I want to take my ball and go home. I'm like Shawn Michaels back in the 90s. I lost my smile. You know what I mean? It's not fun. But Twitter and, and YouTube, that shit is fun for me right now. Even in, even Facebook, I'm having fun with that. But Instagram just isn't fun. I know the, the quality of this video or whatever there's a glare i'm gonna end it here but just so you guys know what happened on tuesday night make sure you subscribe follow me on facebook follow me on twitter follow me on the other instagram page subscribe here if i didn't say that already see you later let's go